So this question is a diagram question because there's a graph provided. Anytime you have a diagram, you want to pay attention to the x-axis. You don't have to call it x, the horizontal axis and the vertical axis. So we see we have uh, some letters here for the cities. And then we have some numbers here on the y-axis that represents, looks like based upon the title, rooftop solar panel installations, right? So in city A, for instance, city A has nine, city B has five, city C has six, city D has four, and city E has 3.5. Now notice how I did all of that without reading the question. And I like, you know, I, su I do suggest that whenever you have a diagram question, that you go and take a look at it, make sure you understand it as well as you can, really before reading, and then add any additional information you can after you start reading. So let's read the actual word problem now. The number of rooftop, the, the number of rooftops with solar panel installations in five cities is shown in the graph above. If the total number of installations is 27,500, so I like to write down anytime I find quantitative information in the word problem, I like to write it down. So 27,500. What is an appropriate label for the vertical axis of the graph? Okay, well, choice A says 10. So let's see. If we were to try out choice A, that means City A would have 90 and then plus 50 from City B, plus 60 from City C, plus 40 from City D, and plus, uh, instead of 3.5, that would become 35. So the question is, does the sum of these values equal the 27,500? You could type this into your calculator if you'd like. I can pretty much tell here these are way too small to add up to 27,500, so A is crossed out. Now, what if we follow choice B and instead these values on the on the x-axis were in hundreds? So we have 900, 500, 600, 400, and 350. Again, you can go to your calculator and figure out um, if that works out. I'll just do it so we can see. So 900 plus 500 plus 600 plus 400 plus 350 we get 2,750. So, so not exactly, in fact, very far off from the number that we're looking for. Um, so B is gone. So choice C says thousands. So now instead of 900, I have 9,000, 5,000. I think you get the point. I'm just adding another zero to all of these values. So 3,500. And once again, I go to my calculator. I add all those values together. So 9,000 plus 5,000 plus 6,000, plus 4,000, plus 3,500, and that does, right, so plus in between all of these, that does equal 27,500, which the question tells us is the value that we're looking for when we add up all of those vertical um, numbers. So therefore, choice C is the best answer to this question.